Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VIII. So in the previous recording session, we met with Laguna, who is also the president of Esthar, a defeated Cypher, Odin died, Adele's dead, time compression has begun, and now we're inside Ultimacia's castle. Now, this is my second time doing this, because as of today, uh, August 22nd, I've already recorded the uh, ending to this game. Like I've already completed the game. I've defeated the second super boss and all this lovely stuff. And I'm sorry to have met you guys inside the castle instead of outside. We missed a little bit of dialogue, just Squall stating, hey, we're just gonna split up in two parties. And um, that's how we're gonna do things. And um, I just skimmed through the, um, through the, what do you call that? The, uh, dialogue just now explaining the mechanic here, but you can't advance through this, um, castle until you defeat all of, well, you can't advance through the castle, but all of your certain commands will not be available to you until you defeat all of Ultima Sia's, uh defeat all of her servants and I, if I'm not mistaken there's eight now the reason why I ended up having to re-record this is because I don't know exactly what happened but I had recorded all of Ultima Sia Castle last week before I started my work week for this week well, when I went to go edit everything, I noticed that the raw file was over two hours long. And I was like, whoa, that's 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 not right. Like, I think it took me altogether 50 minutes to complete Ultima Sia's Castle, which sounded which was about right with my commentary. And I was like, well, maybe it's under a different name and or maybe I just accidentally um, put it in the medieval uh, folder. Cause sometimes I do mix my medieval, my Final Fantasy VIII folders mix up because sometimes I, I just forget to change it. But it wasn't, Medi everything that was in medieval was, in, it was all medieval. So I went back to Final Fantasy VIII. So I don't know exactly what happened. I did recognize that my capture card was like on the fritz and I didn't think nothing of it because the medieval videos turned out perfectly normal. Uh, for parts 9 and 10. And just a side step, we're going to go ahead and unsteal magic. Now, if you don't have all the GFs in this game and you're missing a few, uh, unlock draw because the next boss will have that, um, have a GF. But if you already have it all, uh, I recommend just withdrawing, uh, unsealing magic. And also, if you don't have it onto your elemental defense already, I recommend um, putting Thundaga on your elemental defense because you're gonna need it because the next servant that we're gonna fight um, uses thunder-based magic. So you can essentially just absorb all of its attacks. But anyway, yeah, so I, first of all, I don't know how it got to over two hours long. And second of all, it just corrupted. So I have to re-record everything in the castle. And <laughs> it's frustrating. And like I said, I would have picked up on it earlier because I did all this last week. If ha Had I re uh edit and rendered it right then and there but unfortunately I didn't because it was really late when I had recorded this and I had to get up early in the morning for extra hours uh, my normal four hours than my normal times so I was like man I really need to get some sleep so I didn't catch it until now and I'm like crap <laughs> so now hopefully this is all I just have to re-record uh, I did finish the second super boss, which is Omega Weapon. Like I said, I've already completed the the um, Ultima Sia. I've, I've done all that. I'm just thankful that I didn't save over this save file 
and I'm able to do this because um, there was no way I was just gonna play this game just to show off Ultimacy as Castle. Like there was just no way. We it was just gonna be. I mean, I could have, but the the Let's Play would have definitely been on hold, and that would have been very unfortunate. So I'm glad I was able to go back and, and backpedal because I still have one save file left left from uh, S Star before right before we spoke to Laguna. So all I had to do was just replay that and got back to where I was at. Um, but. Uh, it's unfortunate and it's a little frustrating that I have to do this over, but thankfully it's not too hard because I can remember, hopefully. Oh, it actually used a skin. I never knew it could use skin. Pretty good stats. Look at that. Yeah, I absorb lightning, honey. You can't do anything to me. But yeah, it's, it's definitely frustrating, but... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't change the fact that I have to redo this to show you guys exactly how to get through Ultimacy's Castle. So it's whatever. But enough about griping about that. Let's talk about what's going on here. <laughs> so this is Tripoint. And like I said before, he used Thunder Base attacks. He always counter attack with Mega Spark, if you guys haven't picked up on it. And I don't, I. No, okay. I was about to say, I don't think he does a finishing move right before he dies. Some of these bosses do. Um, but he doesn't. And like I said, if you have Thundaga on your elements of defense, he can't harm you. I think he does physically attacks you. But most of the time, he'll use Mega Spark whenever you whenever you attack him because he's he always counterattacks with that move. But other than that, I mean, it's it's nothing really. So if you decided to do do draw first, go ahead and unseal magic. And but since I already have that, uh, let's do limit break because why not? There's nothing really down here. There is that draw point right there is aura, but I believe I'm one hundred on all three of them, so it doesn't really it, it's not it's not a worry to me. Now. The group is split into two parties. Like I said, I accidentally triggered some dialogue uh, before starting the video, and I do apologize for that. Um, but the second party is right there, and they're useful for getting to another servant, but we're not going to actually get to that servant, at least not right now. We are actually going to go towards the art gallery and defeat the third servant. You can do these servants um, in any order that you like, with the exception of the very first one, right at the stairs, he's the easiest one because all you will have unlocked at that point is attack. Um, if you, like I said, if you don't have all the GS, you would unseal a uh, draw, and if you already have that, you would unseal magic. But definitely make sure you have magic unsealed by the time you come and face this boss. So we're in the art gallery and we have to figure out the title of this painting right over here. Well, in order to do that, we have to interact with these paintings over here. And in order to find the paint, the, the title, we have to interact with all these paintings and go on the second floor and we'll get a clue from the clock right here. Now, you, I don't think you necessarily have to interact with all of these paintings, but if you want the, your, the, the painting isn't going to show up in the list if you don't interact with it. So, if you don't interact with the, with the proper painting, it's not going to show up, which is stupid, but whatever. I already got two of them. I just need one more. And what is this? And it doesn't matter because, well, it won't even let me see what it is, but I think it's like double or something. But anyway, that's the clue right there. You got eight, you got six on the second, and then the hour right there is on four. Even though that's not the proper Roman numeral for four, it's actually supposed to be capital I, capital V to represent four, but it is four. And that is our hint. Eight, six, and four. 
how you find that out, well, as soon as I guarantee find the, uh, I may have already found it. No, that's not it. Sorry, I'm just kind of brushing through this. <laughs> there is some other stuff that I plan on doing, like I planned on cooking, but while videos are rendering, because I'm trying to render these videos back to back, and I'm like, when I found out that everything got corrupted, I was like, oh crap, I really need to get on that, on recording. That and, I think it's one right here. Cause I swear it was one right there. That and, that was one, it is one right here. It's about to, oh, I already, uh, interacted with that. I may have gotten them all. Oh, you know what? I probably did get them, uh, get them all. Anyway, but it's a, it sounds like it's trying to rain. So I don't want, I really don't want my stuff to corrupt. So the hint was A, 6, and 4. Well, these are all the uh, paintings here. And in order to figure it out, you have to use the V's and the I's. The V represents five and then the I's represents one. So V8, V I, and V8, that's six. So we need that one. I think I'm missing one. No, I'm not. Intervillagulum, I don't even know if I said that correctly, is four because it has four I's in it. Like I said, it's that's incorrect that's not proper roman numeral but whatever and then eight is right is this one here vivi duranium i probably didn't pronounce that right either so i forgot actually which order is supposed to be in i really did because each of them rep uh, is is actual words oh i got it right on the first time okay this act is actual words that makes the passage you got to put it in the proper order, and there you go. All right, now this guy has very high vitality, and like I said, please make sure you have magic unsealed before coming to this guy. Because this guy, he doesn't hit hard, but my god, he has, he, he's very bulky. So, get get going with the meltdown immediately to cut that vitality in half there we go perfect and now that, that vitality is cut in half we can just wail on this guy uh also um meltdown would definitely help us in the next uh boss that we will take on like i said there's only eight of them thank god and my memory isn't completely gone. I think I remember how to navigate through this uh, castle without too much of a headache, I, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me, but, but we'll get there. Like I said, it's very unfortunate what happened, but oh well. But now that we got Mel down casted, this guy is, he's gonna go down eventually. Oh crap, I messed up on the trigger, oh well. Now he will drain from those guys, but honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't summoned a second one yet. Because usually he would have done that by now, but he hasn't done it, which I'm okay with. I mean, I could kill that floating thing, but honestly, it's just a waste of time. Even though he's regaining some health back, it honestly isn't going to stop the damage output that I'm giving to him. So it really doesn't bother me. And see, he's, yeah, he's dead. So that's three servants down already, and we're only we're not even 15 minutes into the video, so we're we're in great shape. We're actually oh crap, we're actually doing pretty good. Well, like I said, I'm just just I'm kind of rushing through it, but I'm trying to explain the best way I can. We don't care nothing about that. Uh, let's see, resurrection. You just, really you just unseal seals based on your gameplay, but. Like I said, I recommend you getting magic unsealed immediately uh, because you're going to need some help. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and come down here. We're not going to worry about the door on the right just yet. We'll get to that probably in part two of this castle. I'm going to definitely break this video down into two parts. The door is going to close on you. 
and the key is right here. And then once you interact with the key, this guy is going to come and boy, he looks like he wants to give you a nice big old hug <laughs> with that big old knife. You know the Iron Giants? Well, this is Red Giant. It's dad. <laughs> I don't know if that's his real dad or not, but I'm just saying. Um, these guys hit pretty hard. Like I said, this guy is pretty bulky in vitality as well. So immediately, first thing you want to do is cast Meltdown and make sure you get it to connect. There you go. He's going to yap on about saying magic isn't all that effective. It, just in case of uh, Meltdown doesn't connect all the way, uh, doesn't uh, connect. He'll say magic is useless. Just keep ca ca uh, casting Meltdown until you can get that discoloration going on. And then after that, you just well on him with basic attacks and you'll have him done. When you, when he manages to drop his uh, knife, that means you he's just about dead. So like I said, th these bosses, they're, they're honestly not hard. And you honestly don't have to fight all of these servants in order to defeat Ultimacia. You can fight two of them and get to her and the game will warn you, hey, you didn't unseal all the seals. Would you like to continue? You can go ahead and do it. it it's actually a way to make the final boss a little harder because honestly, Ultimacia is actually pretty easy. Um, she's slightly easier than Sephiroth. She does hit hard. But honestly, she... She, she's she's pretty easy in my opinion uh let's do save and why not i mean don't have nothing else to really use and I, I, yeah, I was about to say i don't even have draw it doesn't matter i think that was like double or something but yeah she's really not hard all that you really need is magic resurrection and um magic resurrection and limit break if you don't want to fight all these um, servants. But anyway, I, I will show it off. But anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to take the second team, make them fall down here. Zell, you're just being over dramatic. <laughs> and let's use the second team, put them over here and hold, uh, press that lever down. No, I don't want to change. Now we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning of the castle and back up those stairs where we first, um, fought the first servant. So we just come around here and through those double doors right there. That's where the falling chandelier was at. Now, because I have the second team up underneath there, the chandelier isn't going to fall anymore. And we can actually go across and come through these doors back here. And the next servant will be back here. How you doing, buddy? You look fantastic. Hi. And what is this? Servant number five? We're doing pretty good. No, four, four. I'm sorry. Four, five, four, yeah, something like that. This guy also likes to, this is Krista by the way, and this guy also likes to uh, counterattack. So as soon as you, first thing you wanna do, cast that Meltdown, cause he has high vitality as well. Just cast Mad Meltdown in general. It's gonna counterattack with that dumb move and it's gonna make you angry. Now be careful with this boss because right before this boss dies, he likes to use Ultima. And you gotta be careful with that. As a matter of fact, because I am in such a somewhat crunch time because I did not intend on where is Aura? Am I not like seeing it? I can't find aura. Okay. You have aura. What it's worth. <laughs> I just want to get some Razookans going on. I know I can use the power up thing, but I'll just do this the legit way. 
chip away this stuff. I kinda am hungry here. I wanna kinda get through this. I did not intend, I cannot believe my thing corrupted. All right, it casts Ultima, it's at the end. As long as your HP is above 5,000, you can survive this. Oh, see, even that. That wasn't too bad. 